Hey, 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 we're out here. We have yams, geo yams. Um, so today we worked on leave it. Now we said we're gonna work on drop it, but we actually decided to focus on leave it first. Um, we saw that Miss Yams is actually very, um, she's <laughs> overstimulated. <laughs> overstimulated, borderline obsessed with her tennis ball. We knew this, but now we actually saw how intense she was out here. So we took it all the way back, and instead of doing drop it first, we did, we did leave it like I said, but we went back to the most basic leave it, which is a treat on the floor or a treat on the ground or even a treat in our hand can leave that alone after that i stopped using i stopped using the tennis ball we stopped using it all together and we went to this toy right here it's a really cool toy we love this so you can actually put treats in it right here as you can see there's treats in it to make it more enticing that being said we use this and notice the color of this so part of the reason why yes really love tennis ball is probably because of the color of it Color to this ball is actually a very neon yellow, almost green color. Dolls can see that yellow really, really well. So this toy kind of follows the same pattern. That being said, she had to leave me alone. I was a distraction. Gio was the trainer, and she had to leave me and check in with Gio more often. So again, we asked for leave it, also asked for more check-ins. So for example, ready? Yep. I may make a sound with it, make it very enticing. Good. And we're asking her to do anything else but engage and, or lunge for the toy, which is what she's doing a lot today. She was pulling and lunging a lot towards the tennis ball. And that showed us that, showed us that she was too stimulated to Whoa. learn in that moment. Can't believe it. Good. Notice how quick she left it. Now I'm going to try to throw this thing. Very, a very short throw. Can't believe it. Excellent job. That was a really good leave it. Good. I'm gonna do it again. Very short throw. Leave it. Yes. Good. Yes. Girl. Now I'm gonna try to walk near her with this dangling from my hand. Yams. Good. Good. Excellent good. job. Good job. Do it again. today was getting her to disengage on her own. There's a game called Engage, Disengage. We're actually going to give you um, in your next coaching session. That way we can actually teach you how to do this with all things, not just tennis balls. That being said, we want her to disengage, check in with us more often, and stop lunging towards whatever she's lunging towards. We want her to engage with us and leave it, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really important that you understand um, her limitations. So drop it was not something that we could do today um, because of her state of mind. It was a losing uh, battle. Um, so it's there's no point in us even trying to um, fight that fight quite yet. Um, you know, can she even handle being in the presence of a ball without disregarding all of her behaviors? Because the ball should be always um, viewed as a form of motivation. It is a reward. It should be a game. But she shouldn't be ditching all of her training just when she sees it. Um, so we're gonna dial it back a little, work with you know a few of these toys, and then reintroduce the ball into play so that you know if she wants the ball, she's got to learn how to exist around the ball. Right. Because um, when she already has it, chances are when you're trying to get it out of her mouth, you know she's nipping at you a little bit um, because she's lost. You know she's just so obsessed with the ball that you kind of lost her. Yeah. <laughs> she lost um, her mind. So we want you know we want to make sure that you know let's say you're walking her and someone else is playing with their dog who has their own ball, um, you know, you should be able to say leave it in those moments. The girl. You should be able to say leave it in those moments because she needs to understand that not every ball is going to belong to her. Yes. Um, and tennis balls are pretty common. So, yes. but she did very awesome today. And the great thing about this toy is that it is the exact same color as um, a tennis ball. Mm -hmm. um, so we are able to work that area. Um, yep, she's doing yep. awesome. So if you have any questions, uh, let us know. But if not, we will see you next time. See ya. Yeah.